Welcome to the presentation of the paper Ranking versus Classifying, Measuring Knowledge Base Completion Quality. My name is Marina Spiranska. Together with Martin Schmidt and Benjamin Groff, we examined the drawbacks of the established method of knowledge base completion evaluation and showed that good ranking does not always imply good classification in a realistic KVC scenario. To see why we claim that mean reciprocal rank does not always reflect the actual completion quality, let us look at an example of the link prediction process. Given an input pair of entity and relation, Thomas Dunnan and Hesper Fashion in this example, some black box model assigns scores to all the possibilities. You can see the sorted list of candidates. Green circles mark entities that are expected for this input and build correct facts. The model gives a plausible ranking and assigns a rank of three to the correct answer, a relatively high one. But imagine that we are in an actual completion scenario and have to decide which facts will be included into the knowledge base and which will be not. Where should this set of threshold? Assume that following the HITSA3 logic, we make a cut at the third position and include the top three facts of highly scored entities into the knowledge base. The decision is obviously imperfect since we would incorporate incorrect facts into the knowledge base as well. How can we then quantify and measure the quality of these completions? The rank does not provide this information directly, but based on the retrieved set of candidates, green frame and the known correct completion entities, green circles, we can derive a confusion matrix similar to information retrieval and then compute directly interpretable metrics of precision, recall, and F-score. Let us further extend the real-world KBC scenario. What else is possible? There might be a person with more than three professions, which will be inevitably kept to three. We also consider it to be a realistic case where no answer can be given to a query because of this profession is for some reason not in the knowledge base yet. Another possibility is that an, aut an automatic completion process confronts a nonsensical query where no answer is imaginable like Paris has no profession, and the model has to deal with it. We have to account for the variable numbers of answers, and one way to do so is to introduce a score-based threshold. In this example, we set it to 0 0.7. It allows the answer set size to be flexible among different queries. In the second example, we see a perfect ranking where all of the correct entities land at the top of the rank, but the classification quality could be improved. Let us assume that the model scored the entities differently with the orange numbers. Now, all of the scores across different queries are in accordance with one threshold. This illustrates the extra challenge to the model that now needs to not only to rank the answers correctly, but to calibrate scores as well. To be able to test models in the setting described above, we created a new benchmark, Freebase 14,000 QAQ, Curing Answering Quality, based on the Freebase 15,000 dataset. To meet the requirements of the new evaluation, certain manipulations are made in the evaluation data. Since we are looking for sets of answers now and not for isolated triples, we need to group the facts accordingly and the evaluation thus becomes query based. We also remove some of the entities to create an artificial closed word setting. The data looks similar to this at the end and the nonsensical queries are generated separately. The results confirmed our hypothesis that the actual classification quality cannot be reflected by the mean reciprocal rank. Model ranking changes strongly the complex model shows the most extreme change from the top of the rank to the bottom of the F score performance. We observed an interesting tendency on the different query types among all models. While queries with inaccessible answers are the hardest to crack, nonsensical queries also pose a problem and are not trivial to classify correctly. To highlight the importance of score calibration, we present a modification of TRANSI that has an integrated rescaling component to it. The trans e scoring function relies on the length of the distance vector, where a threshold is circle shaped. Our modification gives the model extra flexibility with an ellipse shaped threshold. This simple change allows the modified model to outperform the original trans noticeably. To some of the contributions of this work, we developed a classification based evaluation setting that provides interpretable performance metrics. We constructed a new bench benchmark reflecting a comprehensive set of KBC scenarios. We propose a simple but effective strategy to improve Transi's ability to calibrate scores. The data, the, transforma the data transformation script, as well as the exemplary evaluation pipeline are available on GitHub. Thank you for your attention.